being healthy is what every human being wants. Many countries have been trying to develop their public health systems to make their people healthy according to the conditions and needs of such countries. For Thailand, the development of public health, including health care systems, had been undertaken continuously for a long time until it reached the important turning point that was the launch of the Universal Coverage of Health Care, or UC Scheme. The purpose of the UC Scheme is to ensure that all the Thai people will have access to essential health services with good quality in the thorough and equitable manner. In addition, the UC Scheme has been found to be able to decrease the health spending of the households and the people so that they will not be impoverished due to catastrophic medical expenses when ill, according to the intent of the National Health Security Health Act of 2002. Since the launch of the Universal Coverage of Healthcare, or UC Scheme, in 2002, the major problem faced by tertiary care hospitals under the scheme in Bangkok is the overcrowding at their outpatient departments. So one of their duties is to resolve this problem by distributing such a burden to private health facilities. Our hospital has participated in the UC scheme since the beginning. We are a tertiary care hospital, but when we had to provide primary care to more patients under the UC scheme, until we were overloaded and some staff members were then thinking about resigning, so we had to find a solution by joining hands with the private sector. That was the model we thought of, working with private clinics as a network, and we serve as the host. This is Sahat Clinic Soi Sai Yut, a kind of united clinics, being an example for resolving overcrowding problems in large hospitals, especially Pumipon Adulya Ded Hospital, by providing outpatient or ambulatory care for eligible persons under the UC scheme. This clinic provides health care for outpatients by a multidisciplinary team of physicians, dentists, nurses, pharmacists, physical therapists, medical technologists, and health technical officers covering the Bang Khen district of Bangkok. Last year, there were 11,745 outpatient visits at the clinic. Our clinic provides one-stop service as we have our own laboratory. The patients receive a complete cycle of services without wasting any time. We give importance to the quality of services. Every year, officials from the National Health Security Office and Pumipon Adulia Dade Hospital come and inspect our service quality. Most of our patients have chronic diseases and their medical care expenses are covered under the UC scheme. Any patients with the conditions beyond our capacity will be referred to Pumipon Adunia Dead Hospital. Regarding the standards or quality control at the clinic, Pumipon Adunia Dead Hospital has established a support and mentoring system, providing training for staff, as well as on site supervision and quality control inspection for all clinics participating in the scheme. We have to set up systems for this purpose, such as a referral system and a capacity building system for clinic staff to create confidence for patients in the UC scheme, to be sure that we did not neglect the quality of care. Importantly, there is a referral system of the clinic and the hospital for the diseases that require specialized medical care. The hospital has an excellent center for each of the diseases to provide such services. 
and the established system will help minimize the steps for care at the hospital with faster service delivery. Today, a patient referred from Saha Clinic, Soi Sai Yut, is coming to see the doctor at Pumipon Adulia Dead Hospital. Through the computerized referral information system, the information about treatment and medication provided will be entered and updated and then shown online at the clinic. So medical care data set at the clinic and the hospital will be the same one, which makes it more convenient to give follow-up care to the patients in the entire system. A study has shown that the established system has helped primary care units, such as a clinic, to be developed in regard to standards and quality of care, while the overcrowding at the hospital is lessened. So the development of tertiary care can be fully developed. In connection with the National Health Security Office, the UC scheme has involved more healthcare providers and networks. For the healthcare recipients, many more of them have got access to health facilities with more convenience and faster services. And not so far from this place, on the other side of Bangkok, there is also another form of healthcare cooperation with clinics, but it is a private private partnership. This is Goi Nam Thai Hospital, a private hospital that has participated in the UC scheme with the National Health Security Office since 2002. The hospital provides medical services in all medical specialties, but its interesting feature is the focus on primary care and family medicine services through a networking system. Providing medical services is a challenge as we have to balance costs against quality in the system. The services under the UC scheme have to be of good quality too. Regarding the costs, the hospital's profit is not derived from the UC scheme, but from other components. We think of the UC scheme as part of the overall picture. When the patients under the UC scheme come for healthcare, they will use other related services and then the hospital can survive. The frontline service providers of Koi Nam Thai Hospital are its 12 clinics, mostly branches of the hospital, located in various localities in Bangkok, and providing general medical care for patients through the use of new technologies for consultation with specialized physicians at the hospital. The hospital, as well as its clinics, has established a referral system that can help provide faster services for referral patients. And another outstanding feature of the hospital's service system is its visit to the community to reach healthcare recipients, which is rather difficult to do in a large city like Bangkok. In providing primary care compared with the health facilities in the provinces, we have the advantage of personal selection and equipment availability. It might be difficult for us to work at the community level at the beginning, but after we have contacted local residents, there is a bond between the service providers and recipients, leading to improved medical care quality. Home visits help reduce the number of patients' revisits to the hospital, resulting in the reduction in hospital's expenditure. The clinics are now serving as community health centers of the hospital in providing health promotion and chronic disease screening services for eligible persons under the UC scheme, covering both healthcare education and medical treatment. The centers have been set up to help decrease the overcrowding problem at hospitals, while the patients requiring specialized care will be sent to a hospital with such services. Goi Nam Thai One Hospital serves as a tertiary care hospital, emphasizing the development of the information technology system for use in medical services and for the quality control of the clinics in its healthcare network. 
and each type of data will be used for planning purposes. Moreover, the hospital has got a system for transferring a patient to another specialized tertiary care hospital. We've been close to the patients since my father's time. We focus on the attentiveness and the quality of services. Concerning the UC scheme, at the beginning the payment to us was based on the capitation rate, similar to that under the Social Security scheme. Now the payment is based on performance or case by case, or by type of illness. Actually compared with the cost, the profit from the services provided under the UC scheme is close to zero. But what we expect is the use of related services. One UC patient may have several family members. If they are satisfied with our services, they will tell their relatives and friends to use our services too. The system designed for a health facility for ensuring eligible persons access to health care according to their eligibility is a solution to the overcrowding problem at large hospitals in the urban areas. It is the way to help the people to have access to medical and health services more conveniently and rapidly with the confidence in the quality and standards of health facilities.